Hey, welcome to chapter 2, 8th graders. We're going to start off with a fancy word that means something pretty easy. Congruent figures. What are congruent figures? They are figures that equal each other. That means they are the exact same size and shape. So how's this going to uh, work out in math? Let's show you. Basically, two polygons are congruent if their corresponding angles and sides are congruent as well. Here are two shapes. Here is triangle ABC, and here is triangle DEF. We want to try and figure out which sides are the sides that are equal to each other. It may look fairly obvious in this situation, but let's go through it. You may notice that the hypotenuse DF would be the exact same length as the hypotenuse AC. Side AB would match up with, you guessed it, DE, which only leaves EF being congruent with BC. Alright, so this is what it means to know that the sides are congruent. And do you guys notice the shapes that we're using here? These two lines and these two lines indicate that these two sides are the ones that are congruent. If we used only one line with each, it would be hard to tell which uh, side was congruent with which side. And also we said the angles had to be congruent. So, if I had angle C, which angle would be congruent to that? Well, if you think about here's the hypotenuse and here is the side with the three marks, the corresponding angle would be angle F. If you think about angle B right here, which one would be corresponding? You guessed it, angle E. Which leaves us with angle A and angle D being congruent. How do I write this? Well, angle C is congruent with angle F, and notice the symbol we use for being congruent. And over here, side AB is equal to side DE. They'd have this exact same measurement. Same with BC and EF, and same with AC and DF. So how do we make this a little bit trickier? Well, hey, sometimes we can just rotate the shapes and make it not look as obvious. And here's what we're going to try and get you to do. Imagine triangle ABC being rotated and sat right on the top of CDE. Then I'm going to ask you the question, which angle would match up with angle A? Did you guess angle E? Which angle would be congruent to angle B? That would be angle D. And since there are more than one angle coming off of angle C, we have to write it as angle A, C, B. Notice angle A goes to C, then it comes out to B. So which angle would be congruent to angle A, C, B? That would be angle D, C, E. Hey, could I write it as E, C, D? Absolutely. Um, there are different kinds of styles that I've come across. Um, I always like to go in alphabetical order, so in my lessons you'll notice that I'll always put the lowest letter first, D, before the E. So I went D, C, E. It's just a pattern. Okay, so which side would be congruent with angle AB, or excuse me, side AB? Did you think DE? What about BC? Did you think CD? And lastly, AC. Did you think CE? All right, if you did, you're doing great. Keep it up. The next thing we can do is we can just have you find missing angles and missing sides. You'll see this a lot in geometry. So let's look at our three missing angles and sides. We have angle X, we have angle Y, and we have side Z. I rotated these shapes on purpose just so you'd have to be able to visualize which sign lined up with which. For angle X, did you think if this one is 72, this one is 72, obviously it must be the 76 that lines up with the angle X. And angle Y would be 32 degrees. Which side lines up with uh, letter Z? Did you pick 7.9 inches? Good. Nice job. Here's another one. I'm going to let it pause right now. Or if I were you, I would pause right now if you want to see if you could do this one. If not, hopefully you realized that angle Y 
equal to 118 degrees. Angle Z matched up with 62 degrees, and X plus 1 equaled to 6, which means that if we wanted to find out what the X equaled, we just go minus 1, minus 1, and X would equal 5. All right, that was our lesson. If you guys got any questions, please feel free to email me. Remember, congruent is just a fancy way of saying equal. All right, talk to you guys later. If you got any questions, give me, a, give me an email. Thanks.